I'm River Rube, and welcome to my gun kingdom. Well, I've met a new friend at the gun range, and uh, his name is Jeff. And Jeff is uh, in a sport that's kind of unique here, and it's the 50-yard range uh, 22 long rifle competitions that he does. And uh, I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about it. Well, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, we've got um, uh, 25 targets. We got four practice targets on the top. 25 on the bottom, you have 30 minutes to shoot. You can shoot as many at the top four targets as you want to sight in and get your rifle perfect. Um, and then you get one shot for each target uh, and you can score as much as 10 on each target. Plus if you take the center out, which is an X, you, they calculate the X's. And the winner of the match is the one who has the most bullseyes and the most X's. So the maximum score is 250, and the maximum X's is 25. How did you get involved in this uh, activity? Uh, you know, I, I wanted to shoot outdoors. Uh, I started shooting pistol, and I came to their, um, their steel challenge, which is right here in this 50-yard range where they set up five steel targets, and you have the time to shoot at each one in a certain order. And uh, then somebody told me about the rifle match, and I decided, well, I'd like to do that. And I didn't have a 22 rifle at the time. Well, this is quite a build that you've done, Jeff. Why don't you tell us about this build? It, this is interesting. This is a Ruger 1022. You, you wouldn't know it because it's, there's nothing on it anymore, really, that's a Ruger, except the, the basics here in the chamber. But um, this is a, a 1022. Now, this is their target model, right? Right. It's their okay. target model. It actually came with a, a Ruger bull barrel, which was a stock barrel, which wasn't bad, but I wasn't happy with the accuracy and consistency. So um, the, the changes that I've made, um, I got a, a, a Wux, it's W-O-O-X stock for it because it's adjustable. Now, it still doesn't adjust enough for me. I have a very long uh, length of pull. I, I've got 17 inches. This is about 15 right now. I still need a couple more inches, and I'm. Um, you were kind enough to find the screws that I need, and they should be delivered any day now, and then I can add the extra two inches I need here for length of pull. Um, I, um, I added the uh, Volkortsen bolt. Uh, one of the things I liked about that is their bolt stop is um, hard rubber. So when the bolt goes back, it doesn't hit metal like it used to on the, on the Ruger. It hits hard rubber. So you don't get that clicking sound either when, when you shoot. From, it expands the life of it too. Yeah, it expands the life of the bolt. I had the, the gunsmith put the barrel on because I didn't quite trust getting the ejector sight perfect. Okay, all right. So I had him do it. I also had him mount the, the scope for me and, and, um, and sighted in initially. It so just, he bore sighted it? Yeah, he bore sighted okay. it for me. Well, it's quite a setup here. Um, tell us about your scope. Yeah, the, the scope is a, a Vortex Razor. Um, it's 6 to 36 power, and uh, uh, it has a very fine, really fine crosshairs in it. Uh, it, it I, I love the scope. It's a little bit different because you do the fine tuning with the center insert on the top and the bottom, and this is only used when you're adjusting when you're shooting in a match if there's wind or something these are set the, the these regular stops are set at zero they pull out to change them obviously but then the inside is what you actually sight it in with um, and this is a great scope it's an accutrack uh, bipod which is uh, nice and sturdy uh, I used to try to uh, use a, a sort of, it was a little bench made by Caldwell, and I just couldn't get used to it. I didn't feel comfortable in it, and I tried this, and this feels good. So that's, um, um, and plus we have, well, we've got the kid barrel, and then I just put on uh, the kid two-phase trigger. Uh, that's uh, three ounce pull in the first phase and three ounce on the second. I know phase. it's really light. Jeff let me shoot this gun, and it's a it's an amazing trigger for yeah. sure. It, it's 
you know, I thought I was going to have trouble getting used to it, and I, I did. You helped me find that first phase. I couldn't feel that first phase initially. It's, it's very light, isn't it? But yeah. now I can feel it, and um, it, it feels great. This is your uh, mag release right here. This right? is the mag release. They have two types. They have a short one that just sticks out here you can get, or you can get this one. Actually, it, um, it, it comes with a short one, but when I ordered this, they automatically put it on, figuring that's what I wanted. So when I got it, this is the way it was. And I ordered a flat trigger because I just happened to like the feel of a flat trigger rather than the rounded trigger. But I, you know, I think it's uh, ready to compete if I'm ready to shoot. Okay, it's up to the shooter. <laughs> it's right? up to the shooter now. Yeah, I have right. no excuses anymore. Right, and you've got quite a bit of clips here or mags here. So yep, I've got four mags, and we're going to try three different ammunitions today and see which ones it really likes the best. Jeff is trying to slow down because he has you have 30 minutes to to, to complete this card, right. and there's 25 shots on the card. There's do you have one in the trunk? Yes, uh, and then that uh, there's one right here. There's one right oh, here on the right. table. Okay, why don't you explain to all of us how, how this works and, and how they score you. Yeah, these four are, are your sight ins You can shoot as many of these as you want to, to get your rifle sighted in and ready to compete. And, then and this is included in the 30 minutes, right? Oh yes, this is included in the 30 minutes. Um, and then here, obviously, the idea is to hit that little circle that bullseye which is quite tiny uh, and then the idea is to take that center dot out which is what gives you the X uh, that's that's pretty hard there's a lot of guys that hit these and uh, there's two other fellows that shoot with scopes and they traditionally hit 25 of these uh, bullseyes but getting that little dot in the center is tough uh, and how much how, the X how much is that worth in points it's just an X it's just an X. Yeah. Okay. So you get 10 points for breaking this circle of the bullseye. And um, and then if you hit that center dot, you get an X. How much is this one worth where you're just touching the... That's 10. That's 10. Yeah, because I broke the circle. Okay. So inside, and, so inside and you hit that X or hit that dot, that's an X plus uh, 10 points. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then the winner is the one that has the highest score and the most X's. What, what is what is the um, complete um, score on this? What is the highest score you can get with this card? 250. 250. Yeah, okay. there's, you can get, if you break this circle, it gives you 10. So you can get 250 and then you can get 25 X's if you're dead center on each one. Okay. You know, I've mentioned a lot in a lot of my videos about finding the right ammunition that works best in your gun because every gun every barrel is going to be different and they all fire the ammunition different and that's what Jeff's doing today um, tell us about that now Jeff well I, I've sort of narrowed it down to to three I've shot a lot I was shooting um, LE 10x uh, for a while and um, and I just wasn't getting the consistent results so um, I started originally, before I tried the 10X, I had shot Eli Match and uh, did quite well with it. So I decided to try that again. I decided to try SK Rifle Match and also uh, Lapua Center X. Good. And um, I did shoot some of these yesterday. And um, with a cold barrel, I got the best performance out of LE Match. Um, and then... Uh, I did score quite well with the SK rifle match, and I want to give Lapu a little more chance. I had a pretty good grouping, uh, but I think by the, that was the last I shot, and I think by the end of the day I was getting tired, so I want to give it a better chance today to see how it does. But it seems like all of them, all these three, the rifle likes to some degree, so I just want to see which one it likes the absolute best. Um, I do have to tell you, I did have a, uh, I did have a, a, a muzzle break on that I got from Kid uh, the last match, and it didn't dawn on me that that muzzle break was changing the disbursement of gases when the bullet left the left the barrel, and in that match I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. I just couldn't get it to, and it didn't dawn on me until I got home that it was. It was that muzzle brake that was causing me the problem. So I took it off and I just put the thread protector back on. 
and it's made all the difference in the world. Now I feel... Did the muzzle brake come with this kid barrel? Uh, no, I bought it extra, and, okay. it, it, and it was one of those things, you know, it, it really looks nice on the gun. Sure, it yeah, is. It's decorative, yeah. but it's absolutely Makes it stylish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so I guess you got to go with what uh, what scores the best. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Jeff is going to demonstrate his uh, shooting today. I got the GoPro down there, and uh, so we'll be able to see instant results with that. So, what do you say we get shooting? Okay. Jeff? All right. All right. That was to the right, and whoa. I'm going to go up to that first sight in target till I get this on. There we go. Yeah. Okay, you got. 30 points. Is that, do you make any points on that one? No, that was high. Yeah, you do, you do make, uh, that's probably six. Oh, a 10 and an X. Another 10 and an X. <laughs> Just keep it slow. Yep. There's a ten. Wow. Doing good. I I'm pretty happy. Well, you can see those crosshairs a lot better. Boy, a lot better. And they're thicker, too. So yep. you can go back and forth from black to red. Yes. And you find that the red worked better for you? Yeah. It, they worked better for me, too. Because I, I shot this gun that Jeff has here. Uh, I shot it about, what was it, a week ago. Yeah. And I, I didn't do as good as I did today. These are all right. Ten and an X. Huh, that's down to the right. Ten. Okay, for those that stuck around uh, and watched the entire video, uh, this is a bonus. We're going to be shooting the Armor Light 180. If 
556 and uh, Jeff is going to shoot it here. Well, Jeff, thanks for being on the channel today. I appreciate hey, it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, come back again. I will and, love to. Uh, and we'll do some more here. But I hope you enjoyed the uh, the uh, Armor Light 180. Yep, it's great fun to shoot. Yeah. All righty. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Share it with your friends and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.